notice uh, more problems with the different material that the breast implant is made with? Like, are there more problems with silicone versus saline, et cetera? So breast implant cancers are a problem. It's a really low incidence. It's, it's mainly in the textured implants. I have one instance of this in my practice where it's not a T-cell lymphoma, but it's a B-cell lymphoma. So um, I have seen it. It's really unfortunate. Um, I, I would like to say that I know for sure who has textured and who has saline is going to have these different outcomes, but I don't because I see so many people. Um, and saline smooth implants were used predominantly in our country from 1996 until 2013 when a, a, a new kind of uh, silicone implant was brought back to market and then the other implants were brought back to market as well. So I've seen all of them. Yeah, all of them have caused problems. <laughs> People get breast implant illness no matter what kind of implant. Yeah, there's not there's not an easy to indict, you know, situation here. It's just, it's a foreign body. And, you know, whether it's, you know, your dental implant or your cardiac implant, or I used to help all the orthopedic uh, surgeons. Anybody can get infection from any implant place, but many times they're used for really functional purposes, like reconstructing someone's jaw for cancer or replacing a knee joint for uh, osteoarthritis or cancer. I mean, there are all sorts of things that have to be done in the name of keeping someone, you know, mobile or able to eat 